you know, I would, you know, when you hear like these horrible accidents where like someone has a, the parachute doesn't yeah. Yeah. open up and then they're like, they're like, they get turned into like vegetables or something. Yeah. yeah. Hit, their brain gets like fucked mm. up so bad from whatever. Or it's like, I'd rather just die. Yeah. I'd be like, that's, you know, just rather not have to deal with the medical bills. <laughs> Bro, you're not American, you know. yeah. That, 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 you're that, joke, that joke, that joke doesn't, that joke true. doesn't pass. Doesn't work. Doesn't, doesn't yeah. work. <laughs> Japan, they would. I, 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 I'd probably die there because they, they, the ambulance would be like politely moving through traffic. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Hold have, on, you know, have you noticed that? Why do the ambulances not rush here? They drive at a normal speed through traffic, but they make everyone part and then they go thirty miles an hour. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? Someone's dying. Your sirens are on. Go faster. <laughs> You know, well, maybe it doesn't, fr- it doesn't well, stress you out. Well, maybe knowing that that could be you. Well, maybe you, you, you could be like waiting, uh, dying, and it's just the ambulance. Like, see nothing. Oh no! This, what what stresses me out is seeing an seeing an ambulance in Thailand, and you're on like the fucking oh. highway. It is gridlocked, and then I'd be like, carry me, bro. Carry yeah. me. We got better. We got better yeah, walk. Yeah, yeah. We got better odds here. Come on, call the Uber. Just just play coffin dance right now. And then you see an ambulance come in, and it's just like got its sirens on, and people like trying to get out of its way. The problem is you just can't. There is yeah. no space to get. Every lane yeah. is taken. I, I think you just get some cable ties and put me onto a bike and, and hope for the yeah. best, right? Or, or again. And just like the, get the EMTs to just like carry you and just fucking da, 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 like in between the cars. They must, they must double up. Right? They'd like, probably be faster. They, they yeah. double up in the ambulances in Thailand. They're like, we have a, a funeral service flyer. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just not saying this. You are not making it. If, if we don't help you, the paramedics, you're yeah. done. Yeah, <laughs> like, we're done. Yeah, we'll carry like, you. It depends on the time of day. Uh, it's rush hour. Okay, we came with a coffin, actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you were. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the, the outside transforms, like transforms. <laughs> Almost like a black, it like yeah. all the paint changes. Yeah. We're going from the hospital to the funeral director right now. Yeah, the EMT what time guys like changing the suits. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, quick, turn the ambulance siren down 400%. He goes, instead of going, we it goes, you and now dead. Damn. Yeah, no, I, you know, uh, yeah, we would rather just die. <laughs> have, you, have you ever like actually been in an ambulance before? Never. 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 Yeah, me neither. Uh, uh, I've uh, only ever been in an ambulance when someone else got hurt. Hoping I don't get that either. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping, I mean, none of us has broken a bone yeah. yet. I'm shocked you've never broken a bone. I've yeah. sprained stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've, 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 what's the worst injury you've ever had in your life? I think we have, we talked about this We've before. We've talked about this. We have, yeah. 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 yeah I, I mean, I've had some bad, bad tumbles, but somehow never broken. Maybe because I just drink too much milk. <laughs> Calcium 2 OP. Ever my bones a, are like my ass. Then I've never had a yeah. near, death, near death experience. Um, probably. <laughs> do you ever think? Do you ever think like? Do you ever think, so of, light do you ever think of like how many near death experiences you've had and not realized it? Yeah. yeah do you ever yeah. think about that? Like, yeah, when, yeah, like yeah, uh, yeah. you know, when like, have you had a? You've been driving in a car like comes way too close to you. Mm. You've been in the car while the car's just way too fucking close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, that dude was not paying attention. And but you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, but I, mean, I, 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 I actually, I was in the taxi, right? Uh, and I, the taxi driver, this, for some reason, uh, there was a sidewalk, but the guy in Japan at like middle of the night, he was walking in the road, mm. like middle of the lane in the road. It's yeah. a three lane, okay. three lane road. So one, two, three, all the traffic going in the same direction. Yeah. Yeah. Japanese guy near the sidewalk, he was in the middle of the lane, not near the, like even the, like, the barrier, in the middle of it. And we were at a red light and this guy, the taxi driver is flashing his lights, like straightforward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, there's no way this guy can't see him. So I didn't say anything. Yeah. Cause I was like, <laughs> there's literally a guy walking in the middle of the road. Right. And uh, so the taxi driver starts going and I'm like, oh shit, he doesn't see him. So I, I just start shouting non, like yeah. non-verbal noises. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, ah! He's just going straight. Yeah. Taxi driver fucking quickly swerves into the next lane. Luckily, there's yeah. no other car in that lane. Right. Yeah. It fucking throws it back, breaks really fucking. And like, I was sitting there like, either that guy would have died, or we or someone else would have died. Yeah. yeah. From crashing into a car if. If uh, th- there was no other car there, it was super lucky. Uh, let me ask, how old was this taxi driver? Oh, like 80, all of them are. Yeah. It's uh, terrifying, dude. Yeah. I-, I get into some of these taxis sometimes. Some of them, I'm like, I'm like I don't think- I'm, You I'm, should not be behind the wheel. Well, cause I asked them like, hey, uh, hit my address is this. And then they, they're they like, they can't even like touch the touch screen. And I'm yeah. like, yeah. ah, I just feel like you should be retired. It's like, I'm going to go walk. I'm like, it's, <laughs> not, it's just like not on you. Like yeah. I feel bad that you have to do, or maybe you want to do this job. I don't know, but you- yeah. 
should be relaxing and yeah. enjoying yeah. your retirement. Yeah. You shouldn't have to be 80 something years old in a taxi. Totally. Yeah. Like, I feel bad, but also mm. it's terrifying sometimes. And you're like, yeah. you, I just, yeah. No. It's, it's, it's a phenomenon only found in Japan, I think. Totally. You <laughs> you either die a villain or you live long enough to see yourself become a Yeah, character. this is why right. when like people are like, man, what's the, like, how, how is Japan dealing with the ever aging crisis? You know, it's gonna be so interesting how they're dealing with that. I'm like, bitch, they're dealing with it. They, they make them work <laughs> yeah. somehow. I don't, I don't know how the hell like they You either them. become a taxi driver or you become one of those dudes at every construction site that holds the sign or lets yeah. guides yeah, yeah, people yeah. to go in a so certain like, direction. Don't get me wrong. I think I'd always want to do something. Like I, I think I'd always want to be doing some kind of work. Oh, no, for faster. sure. But Even like, when I'm older, but I like, you know, sometimes- But it doesn't fun. have to be physical, you know? Yeah, yeah. I feel that like there's got to be a better age. job. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's nice driving. I don't know, man. But I don't know, you like driving. I like driving, but I don't I've, think I'd I've, like I've driving. Met, I've met so many Uber drivers who are just like, yeah, this is just my hobby. I just like yeah, driving true, people. True. You know? Yeah, true, especially, true. Especially in like America. There's, I've, I've met a lot of taxi drivers in America that, but you know, they, they, they do Uber just not even like, cause they need to, it's just like a hobby. Yeah, it's just and extra change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just cause like, yeah, I have a successful business, but uh, just didn't know what else to do with my time. And I yeah. love driving and uh, this is what I, I mean, dude, do. my dad, I remember he, uh, like early this year, he, he finally retired um, officially. And mm -hmm. uh, I was like, dad, what are you gonna do for your retirement? And he was like, he's thinking about driving a bus. <laughs> and I was like, what? It's like, that's not retirement. That's just changing jobs. And he's like, yeah, but I want to do something. And I'm like, and your, and your decision is to drive a fucking bus. It's like, why? And he's like, well, I like driving and uh, you know, the bus seems challenging and fun. And then uh, when I met up with him last month, I was like, you still going to drive that bus? And he's like, no. <laughs> it's like, I've heard, okay, it's like, I've heard too many horror stories right, about yeah. bus what's drivers. Your, what's your, you're 65. Mm. Well, realistically now it's going to be 75 when we retire. Yeah, yeah. probably. Uh, people our age. You're 75. Yeah. You get to pick one job to retire in. What are you doing? You can be anything. Doesn't it, it doesn't matter if it doesn't make sense monetarily or mm. financially. What's the one job you do? Author. Okay. Yeah. Shit. You can be, you can be an author. Yeah. Why what, not? What are you, what are you writing about? I mean, I've, I've, had, <laughs> I've had 75 years you know, of my life to live. About? Like I can write about my experiences. I can write about anything that I feel like, you know, yeah. like at this point, like I, I feel even nowadays, like anyone can write a book about anything yeah. and people will read it, right? So, and it's- and, People and, are so fucking dumb now. Yeah, people don't read anything. Pe people are, <laughs> right. if people Chris, are desperate. If Chris can be a Sunday true, Times true, yeah. seller, anyone can. Yeah, I can do it, right? <laughs> yeah, fucking I, I easy, whatever. I yeah, but it. like, I think I think a job like that is good because it's not physically taxing, right? So it'll sure, be sure. a lot easier on me. And also it's, I, I feel like I would want to do the kind of jobs that use my brain to make yeah. sure that my yeah. brain is staying active and like, I don't, you know, become like, Go. oh, where okay. am I kind okay. of old uh, person. Yeah. Gone. So, what about you? I don't know, farmer. Fuck no, you Fuck don't no, you will farm. not. You can't even be a farmer now. <laughs> no, 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 no. You not are like, not physically able to farm like, right now. Not like a fucking, you know, like a- you know, What do you think big... farmers do? <laughs> just, just, you know. No, do you think they just wake up and be like, oh, that's a nice farm anyway. <laughs> that's a nice modest farm for one. <laughs> I'm, no. a, I'm gonna go feed the chickens and then lie down for the afternoon. Like they, they don't do that. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, to all the I farmers think like if you were like farming <laughs> for just your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like basic, own, basically, just like uh, you know, kind like of like for your own food. Life. Yeah, yeah. I, I, don't I thought we were talking about retirement here. I, I, no, 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 I didn't. I would do. I would no, do that. That's, I that's, we were, that's retiring. I'm talking about what is the job that you would do if you could retire. Like, yeah. If you had to have a job while being retired, I would probably would do, do the farming too while I'm being the author. Oh, if I if I could have any job. Yeah, I'll tell you mine. I'll tell you mine. Okay, okay. Mine, I would love. So just open a coffee shop and just I, just absolutely bleed money. Don't even care if it makes money. Actually, yeah, that that is one like, thing I have been wanting to do in my retirement is open up a record store. Yeah, just something yeah. that I don't like, yeah. hopefully like- I, I, I don't care if I make money off of it. Yeah, the, the <laughs> idea is, is hopefully that I, I, I've bought the land with the, the building that it's in. So I have yeah. to pay rent. Mm -hmm. And I can yeah. just like fucking be like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I just want one of those things where it's like the first floor is the store and then the second floor is where you live kind of situation. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. I just wake up, I go downstairs, I'm in my store. I just love the idea of getting the most like banging coffee in the morning and just chatting with yeah. people. Just being that, I, I, I want to be that old guy who just talks to everyone. It's like back in my day. <laughs> and then I, and I, and I want to say, say outrageous stuff and then have everyone, everyone just think like, nah, he's old. <laughs> <laughs> just, just say the wildest things. 
It's like, I'm just, not going to say what my doctor was. Uh, don't ask about my taxes in, in 2024. <laughs> ah, we don't talk about it. We don't talk I about can it. just imagine you like just <laughs> recounting like old memes and stuff like that. And you're always like, I'm not going to say what my doctor was. He was a Jewish doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no. I will not be saying no. that, Joey. No, I will like, not he's be not going to turn into like, Kanye. This old man's crazy, but this coffee is so not, good. I am not turning into Kanye. What the fuck, Joey? <laughs> Why? You're, you're old. Who cares? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, I mean, I would, I would love to just open, maybe not a coffee shop, but just like mm. a random well, I'm store. To coffee, so. Yeah, you I, are addicted I, to coffee. I, I, I've already projected my life. Yeah, see, coffee shop makes sense. Record store makes sense. What store would you open in your retirement? So we're, we're just opening stores now. <laughs> we're just, yeah. Yeah, if, I mean, if, yeah it's just, you know, yeah. something that you can do while, while also being able to bleed money and not have to worry about, oh, I can I make you, it? I, I Did you see that it? video of that guy in New York who just like sells pigeons or some shit? <laughs> what? And it's, no. and it's just like the most random thing in the world. Like a, like a pet store? Um, I, I can't remember if he sells pigeons, but it's like a it's a, like a business to do with. Wait, hold on, pause. Is it pigeons. is it is it a? Oh, okay. I was about to say, are they alive pigeons or is it like pigeon meat? No, no, no. Alive pigeons. <laughs> oh, okay. Alive okay. Pigeons. Can you okay. search up like New York <laughs> store pigeons or something? I saw I, every time I see a video of New York, I just think that New York is some kind of like. It feels like some kind of computer generating like place. It's like a GTA city. It like doesn't feel real. It feels like a testing yeah, yeah, yeah. ground for everything it's, it's, humanity. It's a pigeon store. He just, he just sells, he just sells pigeons. Well, but you still, but people need pigeons. I presume there's a do, pigeon store. Do people store. need pigeons yes. in fucking New York of all wait, places? Wait, wait, you know there's like, okay, you know there's competitive pigeon racing, right? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, there's like still? people, people could race yeah. pigeons competitively. Um, also, and yeah. people also and like I think yeah, pigeons yeah. go for cr like horses. They go for so much money because <laughs> getting the fastest pigeon like breed is really expensive. Yeah. Also, a lot of people have started to like own pigeons as pets as well. Okay, just wow. like, okay, just like, well, not, no. like they're like I'm sick of like budgery guards. I don't and, like, want parrots. a pet that I, shit that I, can I, cause cancer. I want to get on this level of niche okay. where it's just like a Play store. The video. Where it's like a store where you just sell something. It just the most right. outlandish. What do you want to sell? Toenails. <laughs> All right, play the video. I want to sell- Play that first uh, one. The first one, the first one. I want to sell ones. lizards. <laughs> Why not? You just want a pet store. Maybe I, want, maybe I do want a pet store. No, actually, pet store so, actually sounds lit. Yeah. Okay, okay, open <laughs> it up. Okay, <laughs> it's- Okay, go back. I came to Michael's store to learn how he keeps this business open. Full screen. We started on the roof where he has a coop of 600 pigeons. Damn. Let me catch you. Oh God, you know this. probably got 150. 150 to 200. Pigeon supplies right now is probably 50, 50, 50. <laughs> Pigeon supplies, 50, 50. <laughs> As pigeon sales fell, the store expanded to sell other pet products and even started renting out their pigeons for releases at weddings and funerals. <laughs> I charge them a fee. They take the birds to the cemetery, they let them go, and they fly right back. Just like, how the <laughs> fuck do you get start, started selling like a pigeon? A pigeon based Probably a family business. business. That's yeah, based yeah. though. Right? I, I, Isn't I this so it. based? Yeah, that's based. I love yeah. it. That's so cool. Belgian pigeon racing is still somewhat popular with winning birds going for over a million dollars. Whoa! That, that I didn't know. That's cool. One way the store cuts costs is by having cats. Michael says they save <laughs> the store $1,000 a month Damn. by protecting the bird seed from being eaten by rats. That's pretty smart. Yeah. You know what? I want to open a pet store. That's 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 what I want to do. Yeah, pet store sounds pet fun. Store. Pet store sounds like a fuck ton of work. You got to clean so much. Yeah, but- Yeah, but you know, you'll be retired you, by you then. Get, you get you so can, many cool You can animals. hire people to do oh, that, right? Oh no, fuck You just no. be the owner Maybe, the maybe just store. a bird store. I kind of- I've kind of been obsessed with the idea of getting birds now. Every time there's like a pet store right outside our place and yeah. there's like, every time they have like I new think, birds. Yeah, even though your pets is, your house price is like no pets. I don't know, a bird's pretty chill. You can just easily get a bird, right? Because it's, it's just in a cage, right? I mean, unless you get a bird that makes a lot of noise. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but like, yeah, like, you, you, live like a, you live in a house, so you chill. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, I've, be I've, fine, been, I've been playing, but you know, right now I travel a lot. So. Pirates yeah. would be fucking sick. Just having someone mimic you. <laughs> that'd be so sick. I mean, our parrot does that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys think you have self-preservation? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. What do you, what do you mean by that? But the have ability you, to keep yourself you alive. Had, yeah, have you Cause like, have you ever had a moment mm. where, you know, something bad could happen, right? Mm. When, when does, you know, when does that moment happen? When that moment happens, do you feel like a switch in your brain to be like, oh, I'm just living my daily life to like, oh shit, something serious is actually happening. Yeah, I think, mm. I think um, one thing that I've uh, been very grateful for is that I don't really ever panic. 
Mm. Yeah. Even in like very stressful situations and I'm around people that are freaking out. I'm like, all right, let's figure out what we can do. <laughs> That's your logic. That's your logical brain yeah. coming in. Yeah, I mean, yeah. people. Are, you know, being around people who stress a lot, you're like, oh my god, mm. yeah, it's not get tiring being fucking panicking all the time. Yeah, chill the fuck out. Bro. I mean, I I'm kind of like that too, but at the same time, I catch myself to be like, maybe I should be panicking a little. Like, bit. Like, okay, you know? let's let's say for example, we you know you feel an earthquake. Yeah. You know? At which point in your brain, okay, maybe you're in bed or something like that, right? Earthquake happens. Yeah. Start shaking a bit. At which point do you like switch off from just like, oh, there's just like another little shake to like, what? what is the moment when you when you actually, that you would actually get you out of bed to be like, honey, get out, get it, like get under the fucking bed frame right now. Uh, get under the- for, I feel, I feel for, like- for me, it would be if the earthquake throws me out of bed. <laughs> that, that, that's, yeah, your, I, that's your line? Yeah. I, I don't know if I'm too logical, but I live in an apartment building and if anything falls on my head, I think it's like Donzo. I think the apartment's gonna collapse completely. Oh so yeah, fine. that's true. Right. And maybe I'd have a chance to live through the rubble there if I went in the door frame, but like very minute still. Mm-hmm. But yeah. at that point, I'm like, I'm like a Rick and Morty fan. I'm like, the odds of me surviving this are so low. Please just take my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, so your logic brain, your logical brain is just like, I'm gonna die anyway. So. Yeah. Uh, Whatever, right? Let's just, uh, just like hit the snooze button. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently there was an earthquake the other night. Yeah, uh, at nighttime. Uh, I don't think my phone went off. My phone hasn't gone off for any of these earthquakes. No, me I'm kind of worried. Me my why, phone went off. Why does my yeah. phone not go off? Mine hasn't, oh, there's been so many earthquakes this year. Just yeah. like just within How this year. How does that year. work? I don't know. Like, why, why? Why? I feel like this is something that should we should know about. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, uh, my uh, natural disaster stuff doesn't work. Anyone else? Because uh... I remember, <laughs> I remember a few years ago, maybe even like just as early as last year, we I would get woken up to these alarms. Uh, you know, the ones that are just like, doop, 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 like the All most the time. traumatic sound you'll ever hear in the middle of the night. And I'm like, oh fuck, here comes the earthquake, and it's like, like fucking nothing. And I was like. Was that, was, that, was that it? The problem with that alarm now is I, I heard it the other day uh, when I was just like, we, we were sleeping. It was like mm. early, early in the morning. Mm. But because I've heard it so much now, it's just conditioned me. It's like the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. You hear this alarm and you're it's like- It's nothing. And you're like, eh, it's, 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 just, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. You know, and it, all it takes is that, that one fucking major earthquake to mm. really fuck you up. So. Yeah. It's just, I, I uh, always- Yeah, I didn't mean, we weren't here for the 2011. So yeah, I'm sure yeah, if yeah. we were here for the 2011, it might traumatize us a bit more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I always think, have there, has there ever been a moment when something has switched in my brain to be like, oh shit, I need to like get into like self-preservation mode or am, or am I like, have you seen like the Belarus like explosion mm. where like you see the explosion and half the people are just like by the window. Oh, like, oh, you yeah. mean the, the one in Lebanon? Oh, sorry, is it uh, Lebanon? The, is the, it the, the nitrogen explosion? Yeah, 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 yeah,
<laughs> probably will, honestly. That thing's massive. Oh my god. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, something's gonna fall on me. Like a like a shelf or something might fall on me. Or like honestly, with the amount of like heavy stuff that I have in there, yeah. yeah. It more likely than not, it's not something falling on me. It's oh. me falling through the floor.